Reporter Tony Evers is asking tech company Foxconn for more transparency tonight. The Taiwanese tech company announced plans to change course for the second time this week. Rose Schmidt joins us. She's live at the state capitol with a further explanation. Rose. Yes, well, there has been a lot of confusion surrounding this deal, but today Foxconn says it does plan to follow through on its manufacturing plans. The question now being, will it follow through on job creation and other promises? Mixed messaging from tech company Foxconn has Governor Tony Evers calling for coherent messaging. This week, top-ranking Foxconn officials told Reuters it was too expensive for the company to make LCD screens in the U.S. But on Friday, they say they will anyway. As uh, the economy is apparently changing from their worldview that they have to make some changes, I, that, that's understandable, but we, we have to make sure that the, uh, the transparency is there, and that's something that we do, we believe uh, is so important and we'll continue to work on. So what sealed the deal with Foxconn this time? President Trump, it seems. The president tweeted great news for Wisconsin after he spoke with the Foxconn chairman. Evers says he too spoke with top executives on Friday. I'm comfortable that they're still committed to the state, that they're, they're committed to uh, this uh, uh, Generation 6 technology, but that doesn't mean that we will continue to encourage them to be more transparent and consistent in their messaging. The governor reaffirmed his mission to protect taxpayers and the environment, but it's unclear whether Foxconn will invest the benchmarks of $10 billion and create 13,000 jobs in Wisconsin. Republican Assembly Speaker Robin Voss and Senate Majority Leader Scott Fitzgerald released a statement today thanking President Trump for his commitment to Wisconsin workers and thanking Foxconn for investing in the state. Rose Schmidt live at the Capitol tonight. Rose, thank you.